In your book, you say it was your duty to report the president trying to extort Zelensky in that phone call. But you also say it was important to your ancestry. Tell us about your ancestry and your duty to them. Sure, I think, uh, you know, my, my, I'll start with the fact that uh, in the military, you, you swear an oath to support and defend the Constitution of the United States against all enemies, foreign and domestic. So uh, to me, I was serving my, uh, fulfilling my oath uh, in reporting or um, holding to account everybody, you know, that's including the president. The president wasn't above the law, but to, to your kind of deeper question about um, family and ancestry, I spent quite a bit of time, you know, the, the, the Trump is, we could probably even have this whole conversation without mentioning it, but I'll just get out of the way right now. Trump was, is a kind of a foil in the book. He's, he's only, you know, plot twist at some point, you know, the story rather than a central figure. Most of it was, most of the story I try to tell is, you know, the, the how, what was it in my background that armed me to navigate this perilous affair, to make the judgment calls I did, to uh, not get tripped up, not, you know, get myself in, in trouble, try to do the right thing in the right way. And I think that starts for me with the, the deeper background of my family. Uh, we, we hail from Kiev. Uh, my family emigrated in 1979. Uh, my dad was 47 when we left. Uh, he himself was a uh, refugee decades before in World War II. Uh, when the Nazis were attacking uh, Kiev, his father, who was a, a military officer, warned him warned his mother um, that the Nazis were, would not, not be stopped and would uh, take Kiev and warned him to, to flee. Now that grandfather didn't survive the war. He, he perished around in the Battle of Kharkiv. And uh, my dad and mom and uh, my dad's sister managed to uh, flee out of Kiev under, an attack, under attacks, uh, Nazi attacks, um, strafing train stations, and got out before the, the, uh, the uh, Nazis actually seized the city. For those of you that are familiar with the history of the region, uh, when the, Rush, when the uh, Nazis did seize the city, they, um, they conducted mass executions of Jews. In one, <coughs> one particularly terrible incident, uh, within really days of, of seizing the city, they collected 33,000 Jews and uh, executed them in a, uh, in a, a by firing squad, in, uh, not firing squad, but by, you know, by, by shooting them, 33,000 Jews in, in a uh, massive uh, kind of pit not too far away from the center of the city. So, uh, you know, it's, it's pretty amazing that a large portion of Kiev's Jewish population w was murdered. We managed to survive that. Uh, we managed, uh, they, my dad survived the war and uh, grew up in the Soviet Union, made some good decisions to bring us to the United States. Uh, and somehow all of that, you know, going all the way back <coughs> and coming full circle to um, January 20, or, uh, July 25th, 2019, you know, uh, put me in a position to defend the United States, defend the Constitution.